This I call <clears throat> Shaman Dream, Seed of Life. My teacher, an old native Indian man with silver gray hair, wearing a cloth around his waist. He's got a serious look on his face regarding something he is telling me. He has a cocoon around this size. He has a cocoon with him the size of a watermelon. He's showing me the journey. He said he sailed across the ocean on his canoe with the cocoon. I pictured a normal ocean, but that is when he stopped me and said no. And at that point, the images appeared in real form right in front of me, kind of like smoky. He said he sails on the shamanic sea. The image was like ghostly white smoke. The feeling was eerie and all I could see was the old shaman on a small canoe with the cocoon and the smoky water around the cocoon. If I have a little drawing here, actually. He arrives at land and climbs mountainous hills with the cocoon. Tired, the shaman realizes he must cross the river and there is kind of like a bridge, which is like the last obstacle. I offer to carry the cocoon from that point on. So when we arrive at the river bridge, um, I see how tired he is and I offer to carry the cocoon. The shaman will then have more energy to cross easily, I thought. So he dove in into the river and when his head came back out, it was my husband, with no memory of having been that shaman. He was signaling me to come into the ocean, into the river and play. So I stand there trying to yell at him to hurry to the other side. But he sees no urgency since he has no memory of the task prior to that moment. So I dove in with the cocoon. And uh, while my husband is playing and swimming, I am in awe that he had no urgency and that he had no idea who he was. <laughs> we finally make it to the other side. The cocoon is ready to hatch. A sound is coming out of it. It is like a, it, there's like a line, a crack in the middle of it and the sound coming out is like a, like a kind of sound. My husband says, not yet, but I can feel and hear that this, being is ready. The cocoon splits in two with my help and inside is my niece. And uh, she's conscious, she knows. And I said, well, who arrives in the cocoon this time? We all giggle and some family members of mine are there too and we're all laughing, it's a joyful situation. For some reason, I knew she was a star child, but here is the, um, the drawing of her in the cocoon when it opened. Anyway, um, anyway, words cannot do it justice, but it is one of those dreams that uh, stay with me always.